Look alive, sunshine. We are back at it again with Persona 5R. <sighs> okay, I know some of you who watch this are wondering why the hell are the episodes out of order? Well, you can blame my uploading process for that. <laughs> I have nothing to do with it. For some reason, it always pops up as an error, which means I have to start the uploading process all over again, which is why everything's been so out of order and really slow. But enough about that. I believe we got in trouble. <sighs> what can we do? Oh, we can actually do shit. Um, EY, no. Wait, wait, who's here? A catchy? Um, this is new. Do we have a Justice Persona? Not on hand. As a one wise man once said in the movie Holes, I can fix that. Oops, I meant to choose the Velvet Room. <laughs> <laughs> Easy with me! Just so you guys know, my window is open, just so I can get some air in here. It's actually pretty warm today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Justine, you these are the paths you have walked. Not counting the uh, DLC characters, but I've already got 16%. This persona? Yeah, I'll do Archangel. A fee is required. Then accept this persona. Are you finished? What? It is time, inmate. Let's see how this goes. I like the fact that they upgraded the whole um, cutscenes. Oh. Well, that totally caught me off guard. Akechi! Where are you? You're way over here. It's not that difficult, and we can chat and play at the same time. How about it? What do you want to do? <laughs> I'm glad I asked. I was a little worried you turned me down. Well then, let's get going. That is good to hear. I found myself with some free time, so I was hoping to find someone to play with, play against. <laughs> you always seem so busy. Well, I wouldn't say I'm unoccupied, but I'm not busy all the time either. If anything, it's my policy to spend my spare time in meaningful ways. Now, let's play a game. You've played pool before, correct? Sheesh! He made three in. Oh, my apologies. A break ace. <laughs> Not bad. It was just a coincidence. Of course, this game won't count. Let's start over. Alright. Hmm. Oof. A bad move on my part. If you get this next if you get this next one, I'm in trouble. Nice. 
not bad. Everything's writing on your next shot, though. Everything's writing on your next shot, though. How will you handle this? Hmm. Well, let's see your skill. That wasn't enough force. It didn't even reach the pocket. I win. That was a close one. And that was a close one, though. I suppose it would have been embarrassing to lose as your senior. Huh. <laughs> Something's off. Thank you. That's great news. I sense something in you that's quite different from other people. I guess you can call it my detective's intuition. <laughs> Kidding, of course. Oh, my apologies. A break ace. Is something the matter? Aren't you left-handed? Huh. That's not bad. I'm honestly impressed you noticed. That's right. And this one's my dominant hand. I switched hands during the game. It's not a it's not anything against you. Going all out against a junior just seems a bit gaudy? No. <clears throat> but I confess you've surprised me. I'm rather dexterous. I'm rather dexterous with my left hand, with my right hand. I can even use chopsticks with it. Frankly, I didn't expect you to see through it. Hm. No holding back next time. That sounds lovely. Interesting. <laughs> it's a nice idea. I like to try a match where I don't have to hold anything back. In any case, you truly are interesting. You never cease to intrigue me. I can sense Akechi's appreciation. Chance to reveal one enemy affinity at the start of battle. Okay. If you ever manage to win against me using my right hand, then I will face you with everything I have. You have my word. Goodbye then. Hey, thanks for coming along today. Our little game turned out to be more interesting than I expected. Barely anyone notices when I don't use my dominant hand. I can commend your powers of observation. I think you'd be an interesting influence on me. <laughs> if, you're in so, if you're so inclined, we can go out again sometime. <laughs> sure. <laughs> thanks, I'm honored. Well... I suppose I'll reach out the next time something comes up. See you. Okay, so this is interesting. We never once had this sort of thing going on with the catchy. So it's very new, but very exciting. Woman with camera. Nope. Oh yeah. All right, here we are after school. I was thinking you might not show. So, whose heart do you want us to change? A Mafia boss. Mafia?! What are you talking about? That's what they call themselves. This group seems to be the cause of the rise in phishing scams. It's worse. Once you're in their sights, they won't stop threatening you until they get what they want. They'll force you to take part in their scams, threaten your family, and ultimately destroy your life. Holy shit. Wow. 
their victims include some of our students. No! They primarily target juveniles. What's the boss's name? Nobody knows. The victims are being threatened not to testify. So even the police can't get a grasp of the situation. So you want us to target someone whose name is completely unknown. That's where you want us to start? You should be able to pull it off. If you're really the righteous phantom thieves. Or is Akechi-kun correct when he says you act without justice? I could say the same for you being the good girl type of pushover. Can't you say something witty back at her? We're gonna need to give us details first. Their main hub of activity is in Shibuya. That's all the information I have. You have two weeks. Once that is passed, I'll submit all the evidence I have to the police and to the school. I hope you don't let me down. She really had the upper hand in that exchange. <laughs> don't let me down. Damn it, she was just bossing us around. Come on, we should get in touch with Yusuke. <sighs> Back in the present. The student council president from Chujin Academy? Are you saying that Makoto was sticking her nose into this phantom thief business? You never noticed? Would Makoto? Bringing up my sister to upset me, are you? It seems there's no limit to your duplicity. Fine. I'll listen to everything you have to say before I decide the truth of your statements. So mad. The mafia. Hmm. Can we really do this? <clears throat> Either way, we have almost no information on our target. This guy's a crime boss, so I wouldn't be surprised if he had a palace. Isn't this a prime opportunity for us, though? How? We are in huge trouble. Even after we punished an evil man who seemed to be good. The public did not acknowledge us. However, if we take down an actual criminal, let alone a target, the police don't have answers for it. Right! That might make people believe in us. Keen insight, Yusuke. I get it. That means even a catch you'll have to acknowledge us as the Phantom Thieves. What do you say, leader? Hmm. Let's prove our justice. Two weeks, correct? We can't afford to waste too much time. I'll ask around Kosei and see if there are any victims. Okay, I know some girls who go to Shibuya pretty often. I'll check with them about it. All right, and I'm gonna see what I can find on the net. That leaves our school up to you and Morgana. We figured out what to do during the whole Kamoshida thing, right? I'll back you up. All right, let's get back together at the end of the week once we've got all our info. I'll get in touch with you guys later. All right. <clears throat> so we got two weeks to figure something out. To school tomorrow, right? Don't worry. I'm sure we'll find something new. Could I have a moment? Well, What's that? It's. I had a yearning to see the Sayori. So if you're heading homeward, I'll accompany you. The Sayori. It seems to suit this cafe quite well. I'm glad I chose to leave it here. I fear I have found myself in quite a horrible mess. Calm down, Yusuke. Believe me, I am attempting to withhold my anxiety as much as possible. But to put it bluntly, 
I am in need of your assistance. Please, listen to what I must say. Throughout my artistic career, there have been moments I've struggled with particular motifs or techniques. However, each of those struggles did eventually fade. Yet now I find myself in a similar situation, but the more I try to escape it, the worse it becomes. It seems I'm trapped in what we in the art world call a slum. Are you aware that I'm attending Kosei on an art scholarship? Such coveted grants are not given as charity. I must continually achieve within my field to remain eligible. Were I to lose my scholarship, I would likely have no choice but to leave the school as well. In the earlier days of my career, I would exclusively paint what I desired when I desired it. The only goal I had in mind was the pursuit of pure beauty. That goal is what drove me onward. Hmm. I wanted nothing more than to attain the lustrous allure of the Sayori in my own work. Yet, what reason do I have now? Holding on to my scholarship? Keeping a roof over my head? Worldly desires are all that spur my brush to move. And the resulting work reflects such impurity of mine, to be honest. I am unsure as to whether I can even call myself an artist anymore. You're so tough on yourself. My apologies. It seems I got somewhat carried away there. But I simply cannot accept this lack of purpose in my work. That is why I'm so upset with my own indecision. Such vague ambition is, in essence, a sin of sorts. <sighs> Though I suppose allowing my young career to come to an end here would be even more sinful. I only wish to create a work I can be genuinely proud of. Just look at the Sayori. Her incandescent figure, alluring gaze. That is the meaning of pure beauty. Yet no matter how hard I try to replicate it, an elegance so sweet remains elusive to me. Why is that, you ask? It is surely because the painter behind the work differs. Because the soul differs. But if my estimations are correct, the soul is nothing but another way to speak of the human heart. What, then, is the heart? How does it bring forth such beauty? I must understand. <sighs> to be perfectly frank, though, I am unsure of how to do so. Would you be able to provide me assistance? You have already brought profound change to my world. Hence, I believe you, of all people, may be able to bring me closer to the truth. I'd be glad to help out, Yusuke. You would? W wonderful. At the moment, my art teacher has yet to notice any drastic changes in my work. But I cannot hide forever. The impurity of the heart will undoubtedly seep onto an artist's canvas eventually. <clears throat> I must go now. My curfew approaches. I look forward to speaking about this matter again. Seems like he's going through his own strife. I walked Yusuke to the station. Rain, huh? So, I checked online, and people are talking about it all over. Now, in my expert opinion, Ida, Ida of Class 2D is guilty. You mean Ida kun from our class? Wait. Start at the beginning, what's he guilty of? Supposedly he's been spending money left and right recently. Said it's cause of some great part-time job he's got. I see. There may be there may very well be worth looking to. Right? Can you try asking him about it on? I don't think he'd be cautious around a girl. In that case, yeah, I don't mind giving it a try. Although I've rarely talked to Itakun. I'll be continuing. I'll be counting on you to back me up if something happens, Shadow. Leave it to me. Okay. What can we do? Um. 
Right. It's not like we're going to be able to do much anyway. Hey. Awesome! We got a spot! Good or evil, the threat of Medjid can be felt all over the world. What are your thoughts? Hey, hey. Hmm. There is a book that we can use that helps speed up our reading. Excuse the background noises. <clears throat> All right, time to get answers. done by this so-called mafia has even reached our student body and you're beginning to care why well I thought this absurdity was nothing but a joke not only are there victims there are even rumors that some are involved with such crimes I've even received inquiries from their guardians why is this happening I don't know I guess the same question could be asked of why Kamashita was abusing and harassing students when you guys knew. Unfortunately, I do not have the answer to that. This is the greatest disgrace in the history of this academy. If it were to be discovered. Well, the academy the academy only reflects on the principal's uh, duty, in which case you're lacking. This is a vital case for the student <coughs> council. Did I not ask you to resolve it? You're the you're the principal of the school. Make it your priority. She's just a student council. Supposed to be having to deal with stuff that goes inside the school. I'm doing the best I can. And I can trust you? You must do something about this at once. Hold the fuck up. That question can I trust you? Could be asked the same towards you, jackass. If I was reliable to you, I'd shoot myself. From what I've heard, even the other students are starting to be dissatisfied with you. Really? At this rate, you and I will both lose our roles at this school. Do you understand? If I was in her case, I wouldn't care if I lost my role. You, on the other hand, I don't really give a damn. I do. Please, just give me a little more time. Kids these days. Mm, do I really have to answer questions now? That's not the notebook I need. Where is it? Uh, under clothes. Lovely. Okay, here we go. Okay, what was it? 
So I handed a bill over at a convenience store, handed a bill over at a convenience store, and they told me they don't take foreign currency. But what I gave them was a bona fide Japanese banknote. Don't tell me young people these days don't know who Hirobumi is. H Hirobumi Ito is. I shudder to think that these will be the people shouldering Japan's economy. I hope you all know your stuff. Here's a quiz just to make sure. Oh god. Why me? I'm not prepared for this. Between paper bills and coins, which one is insured by the government? I would like to think paper bills. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Roasted. Okay, so coins. Ah, stupid pen work. With the ability to make as much money as they wanted, the economy fell into chaos. An independent organization, namely the Bank of Japan, has been tasked with printing paper money since. Coins which do not have as much of an effect on the economy are still produced by the government. You simply can't trust a moron to look after your finances. The best they can manage is pocket change. Imagine all the money you could ever want at your feet. I hope the next palace is somewhere awesome like that. job I'm sure you know about it Ida kun please <sighs> you don't need my help a girl like you could probably get a job anywhere right huh um now that you mention it yes so um what I mean is this is going south fast uh, oh Francois huh? <laughs> oh they didn't have dialogue in the original got the momentum back. She's not acting anymore now, is she? Come on. Let's leave this guy to Lady On and go look for that Nishiyama fellow. Okay, so we got a name. Hmm. Do you have a minute? No. You're looking for something, right? I want to help you out. Nishiyama? He usually hangs out with Ida. Oh, so you want to ask him about Ida? So that's why Takamaki-san was chasing him. I'm sorry, I don't know where he is right now. He usually stays till late, so I think he's probably still somewhere in the school. I'll keep digging around while you're looking for him. Well, I guess we can let him handle this. We'll have to ask someone else about Nishiyama's whereabouts. Can you think of anyone who might know? Hmm. Hurry up. Do you have anything you want to ask about? Um, Nishiyama. 
He's a really serious student with great grades. I always see him at the library after school. The library's just uh, up on the floor above this one. Why don't you go talk to him? Okay, so it's over here. Do 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 do. Hmm. What's wrong? I was just looking at the bulletin. The well, actually, way to withhold information. Continue looking at the bulletin board so ominously. Nishiyama, that's me. You're that transfer student, right? You need something? Ida, how do you know about that? Are you doing something, Em? He's been acting really strange lately. I want to help him. Oh, what do you mean? Is he really wrapped up in something shady? Tell me what you know. One day, the two of us went to Shibuya, and a man approached us over near Central Street. He asked if we were interested in an easy part-time job. I said I wasn't, but Ida was into it. He was asking the guy all sorts of questions. What was this job? I, I don't know. I was so scared, I ended up going home alone. But according to Ida, it only takes ten minutes. And is good for people who don't stand out. Anything else? Ida started spending a lot of money. That's when his strange behavior began, too. But that's all I know. That's enough, right? A man on Central Street, huh? Suspicious. Maybe he was making him commit crimes? Probably. Have you found anything, Shadow? I have tried looking into this high-paying part-time job myself. People seem to be talking about it here as well. Supposedly, a man, a man walk, a man will talk to you in broad daylight over on Central Street, and your job is to deliver a small envelope he hands you. Well, I will contact you again if I learn anything more. So that means this part-time job is somehow crime-related. It takes ten minutes, is good for people who don't stand out, and involves a small envelope. Does that ring any bells? It's something the Mafia would definitely be up to. Fraud, prostitution. <laughs> Sounds like drugs. Like illegal drugs? Maybe they made Ida smuggle drugs for them. That definitely fits with a small envelope. And you can get arrested just for possession. smuggling. This won't be pretty. Come on, let's go back to Lady On. We'll ask Ida directly. Well, this is about to take a really dark turn for the worst. And she's still over there at the billboard. Running at full speed! Drug smuggler. How do you? I've only told one person about that. All people. I can't believe you were the one to find out. You're right. They told me they had an easy part-time job for me, and I ended up smuggling drugs. All I had to do was put envelopes into coin lockers, and they said they'd give me a hefty paycheck. I didn't know what was in the envelopes, though. Still, this is what came out of it. 
Are you being threatened? So you knew, huh? They started threatening me right after they deposited the money into my bank account. They had pictures of me carrying the goods. Said they'd expose what I did unless I paid them off. You know? Why are you even asking me this stuff? Are you just gonna use my job to blackmail me too? Never. I see. Well, even if you were planning on doing that, I don't have any money I could give you. If you're really interested in that job, try heading over to Central Street. That's where they told me about it. I, I told you everything you want to know, right? Can I go? Well then. Well, we have our info. Now all we have to do is our part. <laughs> It's drugs. Instead of going after older folks, they're going after the younger ones. Let's stop for today. <laughs> Everyone gets on Ryuji. Alright, so the school's in trouble. And the students are in even worse danger than ever. It's up to us to save them. Sorry to be the downpour of your day. <laughs> okay. No new messages. Where can I go? What's today? Today's Wednesday. Um... Ooh, I have an idea! Anyone else feeling hungry after this? Um. I know I'm not gonna get it, but it can't help but increase some shit. Oh, heart attack. All this meat makes sense for a challenge of such cosmic proportions. Ugh. Damn it. Okay, so it looks like everyone's just talking about the whole situation of the trafficking. Okay. I don't get it. I saw Nijima arguing with the principal about the mafia or something. What was that about? 
I hear her older sister's involved with the investigation. Maybe she's just trying to play detective too. Are you kidding me? I can't handle a student council president with no focus. Okay, we're all here. There sure are a lot of high schoolers during the day. They must be targeting them somehow. Finding the specifics may be difficult. With such a crowd, the odds are against us. We have to do this. Right. We're gonna grab him by the tail. You should head over to Central Street, like we planned yesterday. Sweet. Let's get going. Let me know if you find any shady people. Hmm. Just as we planned. We might end up running into the Mafia. Be ready for anything. Somewhere. Huh. you interested in all the hottest brand names? We're having a special sale just over there. How about you go take a peek? We ordered way too much, so I have a ton left over. My boss will kill me if I go back to him with all these extras. Look, I'll sell them to you for cheap. What do you say? What should we do? It depends on the price, wouldn't you say? Hey, what about you? These are unforgettable deals. Well, that's disappointing. Come back if you change your mind. Hmm. Come on, the shop's right around here. How about you come take a look? Seems like some kind of sale. You probably shouldn't bother. Down we go, and my phone's ringing. This president's here. I walked past her at the station. Is she keeping an eye on us? Maybe, maybe. I guess she's curious about all this. Well, let's just ignore her. She's not getting in our way. Let's just ignore her if she's not getting in our way. More importantly, are things on your end? Everyone's really going about this seriously. They're definitely worthy of being phantom thieves. We can't fall behind either. Let's look for that homeless man. Somewhere. Seriously? Hmm. Construction area? Focus. So, up here?
Hmm. Alright then. Okay. Honestly, it feels like we're not getting anywhere. Station Square, since we're already over here. Move birds. Wow, that's a lot of money. I have a feeling I know what kind of videos they're into making. Alright, time to head to Central Street again. Um, okay. These guys can. Okay. I can feel it. The Taiku building? we go. No time for detours. Where do we go? Back under here? Let's try the underground mall. Hmm. hmm. Nothing here, nothing here.
Huh. A smoking area? <laughs> Head to the back alley? No. Man. No. Man. See it. progress toward finding the boss. Shibuya is a big place. Well, you aren't wrong about that. Hey, you two got some time? I have a great job for you. It's real easy. Guess you could call it a delivery job. It seems we didn't have to look very hard in the end. You're high schoolers, yeah? Don't you want something more than just your allowances? By delivery, do you mean that of suspicious material? <laughs> You're a funny girl. So, you won't answer me. Then I was right. Eh? What's up with you anyways? Why are you asking all these questions, huh? Oh. It was all a joke. Why would I get worked up over some dumb kids? Anyways, I can't hang. See ya. Um, if you don't want to deal with us, we could always go see your boss ourselves. Really gonna say that knowing who he is? <laughs> no way I believe that. Well, I'm out of here. You guys are annoying me. Alright, so we got some info, sure I think. The mafia we're looking for. I'm amazed you figured it out. I don't have any proof, though. I tried to trick him into saying something, but he dodged all the traps I was laying down. Well, you made it too obvious. By the way, thanks for standing up for me. I'm going to go now. That boss seems tricky. And it looks like he taught his subordinates well, too. No wonder the police are having trouble catching him. Anyway, you have some serious guts. You didn't back down at all against that hooligan. Though we still didn't end up with any new information. Let's stop here for today. Weak. Muscle <laughs> <laughs> it's muscle hour. No, it's happy hour. <laughs> That's always a Wednesday. Typical Wednesday is happy hour. It's an unknown number. Hello, this is Nijima. Makoto, Nijima. Thanks for earlier. How did you get my freaking number? <laughs> Some girl called looking for you around noon. Said she's the class president. Said she's got something that belongs to you. She seemed to know you, so I gave her your number. She must have looked up LeBlanc's address trying to contact you. That need you must sure is thorough. Oh, yeah. Then again, she called you just to apologize. It's a bit weird, but maybe she's not so bad after all. Hmm. Let's help him out. The 
effects. Blah, blah, blah. Whoa, cheese. Okay. So, we meet again. My what murky weather we're having. Speaking of murky, there haven't been any new developments in the Phantom Thief incidents. If they go so far as using calling cards to get attention, I doubt Madarame's case will be the last. What kind of target will they choose next? What do you think? Hmm. If I had to guess, probably an own criminal. The Phantom Thieves only target criminals, huh? Is that really true? Supposing it is, there are plenty of villains in the world. How do they choose who to go after? Mm. Oh, sorry. I'm getting lost in my own head. I have to stay on top of any Phantom Thieves activity due to what I said on the air. If you hear any rumors at school, I hope you can let me know. <laughs> Will do. All right. Ah, oh, for real? We didn't get anything? God, they suck. They were going nowhere with this. Hey, can't we ask Miss President to shut up? Uh, excuse me. You mean change our target? Just gotta show her justice to satisfy her, right? There are tons of shitty adults in this world. It's not like it matters who we're going after. She says this is for the students, but I bet it's just so she can go brag about it on college apps. But that mafia is stealing money from kids. We can't just accept that. It doesn't matter who the target came from anymore. Ahn's right. We want to give courage to the weak. Isn't this the perfect target to accomplish that goal? Hmm. I really have no talent. <laughs> I thought it would be this noisy if you weren't singing. Anyways, I'm sure we'll show to catch you up if we pull this off. That's exactly why we should do it. It all comes down to intel in the end. If we don't start finding tips on that front, we'll never get any further than this. There has to be someone who has what we need. What about the media? That's right! What about that journalist? You mean the woman who was staking out Matarame's house? Oh yeah! I completely forgot about her! Didn't she give you her card? As a matter of fact, the business card says Ichigo Oya of Maisa of Maisa newspaper. This is for a rather major publication. I think we can trust her. There's no other way. Okay, let's contact her. Yes, thank you. He says our time's up. Should we extend it? Happy hour's over, yeah? Eh, come on, let's just go. <laughs> <sighs> Anyways, I guess we just gotta wait for that journalist to email us back. Let us know ASAP when she responds. Got it? All right. So, now we just wait for her to respond. Hey. All right. You got time right now? It irritates me that we can't really earn more than just two points. Thanks. Makoto? You've made any lifestyle changes recently. 
I gave them a suitable enough answer, but is there some kind of issue at school? No, it's nothing. I'm sorry to worry you. Hey. You've been coming home late these days. I doubt you would do such a thing, but try to avoid wandering around Shibuya late at night. I've heard stories of girls your age throwing their lives away out there. Getting wrapped up in these shady deals, blackmailed into sex work. I've heard rumors about that as well. People have been mo mentioning it at school. These aren't mere rumors. I know of a, such. I know of a few such cases. <sighs> well, it should be nothing for you to worry about. Just consider. Just concentrate on your studies for now. <sighs> we got 10 days. Ichima Senpai, aren't you going to help me? You said you would keep it a secret, but rumors have started getting out. Wait, you didn't leak that information, did you? Calm down. They're still targeting you? Even that delinquent found out. He might try and threaten me, too. Why is this happening to me? I can't afford to keep paying. I, I found some clues regarding your incident. I just need you to wait a bit longer. You're really gonna help? Everyone thinks you're just doing it for a letter of recommendation. <sighs> With everything that's been going on in Shujin lately, I don't blame them for thinking that. However, after what we've been seeing so far, it doesn't really look like that's the case. That is not true. My goal here is to protect the students at this school. Please. Please hurry. All right. With that in mind, we might as well go ahead and take care of it. We got a we got other, I believe, hits that we need to take care of. This would be a perfect opportunity for us to grind. So we have four targets to deal with. Hmm. 
This one kind of has me concerned. The hint, the fact that he gets joint pains on rainy days, gives me the impression that it's going to be a really strong enemy. In which case, we'd have to make use of the rainy day as an advantage. It'd probably slow him down, but nothing ventured, nothing gained. We have smoke bombs, so if it gets bad, we could just use that to get the hell out. If it allows us to. All right. <clears throat> All right, so we unlocked a new area. We can go further down now. It's because we made Matarame's palace disappear, right? Most likely, I think. You seem rather uncertain. How far does this Mementos run, anyway? Uh... It's huge! Extremely! <laughs> always so vague when it comes to the important stuff. It's like he's kind of flaky as our chief of operations. Don't you want him to try a bit harder too? He's doing his best. You truly are different from that moron over there. There, there. I don't fully understand, but Mementos and the palaces are related to each other, correct? Then all we must do is continue changing the hearts of evildoers to ascertain its full expanse. I don't believe there's a need to quarrel over it. In any case, let's go. All right, let's start today's job. Okay. Okay, so we need to go back up this way. Out of my way. Me. Nice work, team. Okay. Hm. Child's play. All right, a chest. Joker, it's a treasure chest. Thank you, Ryuji. We're not into that right now. Okay. Ask and you shall receive. <laughs> Double tap. Alright, target number one. Unsightly. I'm gonna beat you down. 
Okay. I was not expecting <laughs> this. Let's go. Boom! Oh yeah? Can we end it? Oh yeah. Damn. I knew I was wrong. It started with something small. Whenever I do something stupid, my family would worry about me. My son usually treats me like I'm worthless, but he would care for me in those times. There's no other way. It felt so good that I started seeking that kindness of affection everywhere. He ended up causing so much trouble. Hmm. An unfortunate consequence of isolation. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> I've caused so much trouble. How am I supposed to live like this? By apologizing. Apologize? It's too late for that. So no. The important thing is to start making up for it. That's true. Well, let me make it up to you. Nuisance belt? Alright, that's one. Again, they're doing that. Not exactly the best item. Oh, God. Hang on. <sighs> To play. A spectacular victory. Okay. <laughs> no match for me. Grab 
damage them! Goku took one out! Alright! Nice job, Panther! Well, on to the we next try. Okay. Huh. They were nothing. Okay, sorry about that. I had to mute myself. For the past week or so, people have been driving down my neighborhood, honking. A bunch of bastards. There's nothing really special going on. I don't know why they're doing it. Skills. There he is. Joker, Ooh. Yeah, I know. Don't really feel like getting it right now. Let's just focus on getting to the. Okay, so there's one more in this total area, which means we have to continue going down. And now a dog won't shut up! <laughs> if it's not one thing, it's another. Oh man. in the 100k and there's a reason why I want to stay here what oh, come on Joker, a treasure chest. Let's open it. 
Out of my way. Awesome! Yes, we did! Okay, we already got it. Hey, it's... what's his name again? Oh, okay, so any persona, any shadow that you hit that gives you a persona, instead of giving you the mask again, it just gives you experience. Okay, awesome. I actually like that concept a lot better than what they had last time. Okay, so they added a turbo function. <laughs> I've been trying to figure out why he was going so extremely fast. The end area. More important. Okay. Yes, you will find shadows here and that prevent you from proceeding to the next area. Time to beat some sense into you then. Look, there's kinks, there's fetishes, and then there's just plain wrong. You'll learn. If you keep this up, he'll come to resent you. What was I doing?
a whip sword. Awesome, we can now proceed to the next area. And we still have plenty of SP and HP. Doesn't this look different from how it was before? Looks like it could be you looks like it could be an it'll be a new area from here on. I'm starting to understand how this place works. Yes, it's quite a marvel to find the subway system down here. Uh, Eartha Yusuke, it's always been like that. I can sense our target somewhere in this area. Let's scour this floor for them. Looks like the music changed. That's awesome. So that was two. This will make number three. Today his extortion ends. Why'd you blackmail your own employees? That's not normal. Nor is it right. My ship is directly managed. My shop is a directly managed store of a large chain. Since I'm highly competent, since I'm highly competent, I'm in charge. I don't need strangers complaining about how I use the shop's money. Part-time workers are the property of the shop. Thus, they are mine to do as to use as I will. What? Property? Why do you? Th who do you think you are? I get it now. You pretend to be heroes, but you're all just criminals. I'm gonna kill you. I think it's time we get some new weapons too. I'll make the first shot. <laughs> All right. I leveled up. At least you realize it. I remember now. Employees aren't property. They're human beings. And yet I took advantage of them. I've done bad things. Talk about a horrible workplace. I don't know how I can ever make up for this. You've done quite a bit more, haven't you? It'd be best if you could just confess everything. Keep going. Hmm. We're at ninety flowers. All right, now let's go down. Persona! Going on! Strike! 
serves you right. You can do it, boss. Right the pieces. Finish him. We've done it. So they're weak. So they're resistant to gun skills. Yes, 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 I know. Sometimes I could be a greedy bastard. <laughs> a little never hurts, but a lot can get you in trouble. Remember that. Lend me your power. Ipon Tatara? Tatara? I don't know how to say it. <laughs> Alright, we really don't need the Hermit. And we really don't need to have this one on hand. So... Was area one, now we go to area two. Uh, the one before that had a, only two. All the shadows here are really strong. Don't do anything stupid, Joker. That's why we've been grinding. Let's see what we have here. Yes, he is immune to uh, physical damage, but if you manage to freeze him, all that just goes down the shitter. So definitely use that to your advantage. Persona! Go! You're mine! 
Hmm, we don't have you yet. Then you get to die. <laughs> you could have lived. Okay. Easier than cleaning my brushes. All right, a chest. Joker, it's a treasure chest. Okay. The platform. Now we can move on to the next area. We could. But then we'd be leaving this behind. So we got seven of these, so that means there's got to be, no, not ten floors, there's ten stars total. Okay. Boom, bitch. Get out my way. Ooh. Okay, so it looks like the farther the floors go, the more of a chance we'll have to find to up uh, to find these stars. Joker, there's a treasure chest. We can get True, we could. Had one job. All right. Uh, okay. They were too weak to bother with. We're at the platform. Now we can move on to the next area. Okay, so it's just a dead end. And we got nine stars. sent our target somewhere in here. Alright, once we get this target we can finally head back. Onwards and upwards. I have a feeling this one's going to be a bit tougher. Shh. 
Sheesh. I'll show you. Talk about an inferiority complex. Alright, and that's the last one. I wonder what it could be. We'll give it to his brother. All right, that's all four. a day. We never did get to find the guy. So might as well. What do you want to do? Stupid dogs. Crossroads Bar. This is from that journalist, right? She wants to meet you there now? Looks like this Crossroads place is in Shinjuku. A meetup in Shinjuku. Let me see. I guess 
best to put it simply, it's a nightlife district for adults. Ah, the red light district. Got it. You should send everyone a message and let them know what you're up to. Wait, are you gonna go in your school uniform? It would be bad for you to stand out. You should change before you go. Good call. Alright, let's see what we have. You're in your uniform? Huh? No choice. I didn't have the time to go home. People aren't gonna notice anyways with this t-shirt over it. <sighs> you stand out. Think so? I thought this is normal. I'm surprised you were thinking anything. <laughs> it won't be my fault when the cops catch you. Don't worry about it. That place ain't so different from Shibuya. I'll guide you. We're going to Shinjuku. You should probably hop on the JL. Just get out of this building, and then the ticket gate should be on the right. It's go time. Is this really going to be okay? No, it's not. I'm sensing some danger up ahead, too. Make me oh. Hey, it's what's her name? Rise. And what's her name? Um Economy? Economy Mashta. All right. Hey. We scored a lot of money. Rise Kujikawa. This way, bruh. <sighs> they really went all out with this one. Holy shit. Uh-oh. moment? Are you a student? You shouldn't be out this late. Oh, yeah. We're adults, you see? Hmm? Are you a friend of his? Wait a second. I've seen the pattern on those pants before. Maybe on the news. Oh, yeah. It was on that segment about the teacher who was harassing kids. Is that a school uniform? Shit. You kids have got to be high schoolers. Come with me. Shoot. This is why I said uniforms were a bad idea. Let's run! How much longer until we get there? Hey, it ain't our fault we had to deal with that detour. Our school's getting real famous. I excuse me. Huh? Blind one. I can sense impending woman troubles. Or perhaps it's something else. <laughs> In any case, horrible disaster is coming for you. Please, let me examine your future further. What? Me? Yes. I suggest you get your fortune told. What I say will surely come to pass. More of this shit? Sorry, but we're in a hurry. And I don't really believe in that stuff anyways. I see. My apologies. However, if you change your mind, I'll be waiting here in this spot at night. May your fortunes be well. I know what's to come. Bar Crossroads. Oh man, we ain't old enough to hang out here. 
You sure this is the place? Beer, whiskey, wine. Looks like nighttime is bar time. Going in our uniforms is probably a bad idea. But we got caught last time, too. Just wait outside. I came all the way to Shinjuku and can't even go in? Ugh, fine. I'll kill time somewhere nearby. Just let me know when you're done. Welcome, welcome. Uh, how old are you, boy? Did they change the voice? He's with me. Oh, you picked up a real young one this time. Just don't let a minor drink alcohol, okay? Malachan, I'm gonna borrow the seats in the back. Go on back there. I'll treat you to some water. Ah, oh, she reeks of boobs. <laughs> what a surprise! I thought you were joking, yet here you are! I respect that bravery, so I'll listen to what you have to say. Well, what do you want to know? Who controls Shibuya? Oh. Why that? I need intel on their boss. Hmm. Well, I do happen to know something about that. I could tell you, but... Do you know the Phantom Thieves of Hearts? You know, that case the public has been focused on lately. I was pursuing the issue of people randomly entering into a shutdown state, but I'm lacking intel. That's why I'm currently looking for new material to write about. So, do you have any info on these Phantom Thieves? Are those your terms? <laughs> Something like that. You're a Shujin kid, right? I remember you wearing their uniform the last time we met. I thought maybe you might have some insider knowledge on the Phantom Thieves because of it. I might. Their first incident was that of Kamoshida, you know? Ideally, I'd like to get some exclusive coverage from a student who suffered Kamoshida's abuse. I would love an introduction if you know of someone who fits the bill. Seems both you and I can't really do our stuff out in the open, so... What do you say? Hmm. A student who suffered from abuse. Oh, what about that Mishima guy? He always seems to be on the side of the Phantom Thieves. I know someone. It's a deal then. Send me your friend's contact info later. You'd better be thankful. My quick wit is the only reason we're getting this far. Yes, Morgana. There's <clears throat> mental shutdowns and the Phantom Thieves both seem supernatural. Could they be related? Or am I just hoping for a coincidence? Why not both? Oh, sorry. I have a tendency to talk to myself on occasion. You and me both. Well then, you can't exactly consider this an upfront payment, but... Junya Kamashu. I think he's probably the guy you're looking for. Yes! You should check him out further if you're curious. But... I'm not responsible for what happens next. Lolachan, can I get a refill for this kid? We need to make a toast to our new acquaintance. It'll be a problem if you stay too long. You should leave right after you finish your water. I was thinking the same thing. Yes. Nailed it. Came, huh? All right, let's go. There he is. Hey, for real? Hey, all right. All right, so we finally got it. What? Oh my god, what the hell is going on? And I'm Julian.
Julie, if you're feeling sassy. What a cutie. You'd never guess he was into the drag scene. I say we show him the ropes. You can't deny it. We saw you peeking into crossroads. Well, sweetie, if you're curious, we'll help you look divine. <laughs> Yeah, this game never changes. You can change the hearts of people, but you can't make the changes in the game. Well, apparently they did. And I know what they're saying I know what they were referring to, but like <laughs> I still can't get enough of Dude, help! Tell them we're just investigating or something. But you're a natural. Lock them down. <laughs> can't blow our cover. Really? They did change the answers. That's such a disappointment. Hey. Oh honey, you've got the... What the fuck? <laughs> the chest bar. And those cheekbones, I love it! That's what it takes to be a star. Just follow my lead, stud. We're gonna put your name in lights. And I know just the dress for you. <laughs> Poor Ryuji. <laughs> Ryuji finds his, finds his calling, or at least makes it out alive. Head back? As of right now, I am really tired. <laughs> I don't know what the hell we just encountered. I have a name. We're pretty much already in Kaneshiro's palace. That was surprisingly easy. <laughs> These den updated. Also, can I do anything with this? Awesome. Probably make four. Spotlight. What does this do? Raise its chance of being targeted by foes for one ally. Okay. Stuff for palaces. Um. Honestly, I'm just making stuff that I'm going to be using a lot, and since palaces are going to have locked boxes, it makes sense. <laughs> Upset with my terrible voice acting? I don't care. I can't believe you guys ditched me yesterday. Entered a world I want nothing to do with. What are you talking about? Nothing. Just start it up, Yusuke. Kanashiro's <laughs> <laughs> name into the map, and just as expected, it's a hit. All we need now are the two other keywords: what he thinks of as his palace and where it is. But we don't have any clues other than people falling victim around here. <sighs> we'll just have to try whatever keywords we can come up with. Be impossible. How many buildings do you think there are in Shibuya? 
No complaining. If we can figure out what the palace is, we may be able to guess where it is by association. Hmm. It's probably somewhere he's got complete control over. Maybe a garden? No candidates found. Nope. He likes money, so what about a money bath? I've seen people online with things like that. What the hell is a money bath? No, not even close. How about it? Can you think of anything? A bank. I see. Okay, that's a hit. So, so we just need the place. Somewhere in the city as his own bank. I thought it would be something less realistic. That's all it is, huh? Now then, what location would Kaneshiro think of as his bank? If we're talking about a place where he keeps his cash, maybe his own hideout? How about a real bank? His cognition wouldn't be distorted in that case. Damn it, we ain't getting anywhere. This may be difficult to explain, but doesn't it seem we're thinking a little too inside the box? Palaces emanate a passionate madness. It feels as though we're missing that aspect. The hell are you talking about? This palace is a bank for someone who extorts money with criminal acts. Hmm. But what other ways can we think about it? Oh, could it mean a place you withdraw money? That would be an ATM or a bank. Hold on. Do you think it might have something to do with the victims? He's taking money from his victims' wallets, right? That means his bank is wherever they are. That's terrible. But you may just be right. Oh, come on! How many people do you think Kaneshiro's taken advantage of in all of Shibuya? Wait a second. I have a hit. Huh? Oh, wait, what? D did I say something right? The place that Kaneshiro thinks of as a bank is all of Shibuya. What? Like, the entire city? Makes sense. If you think about the people he's recruited, they're all in Shibuya. So if his palace is supposed to be a bank, then the bank is wherever they are. In this case, it's Shibuya. I see. That's certainly where his victims are. Turns out he really is a terrible criminal. But wait. Is it okay for us to go into the palace right out of a crowd like this? Eh, nobody notices if a piece of trash disappears from a trash can. This ain't any different. In that case, let's go. Beginning navigation. Alright, here we go. And we're already in uniform. Is cognition of people. So this is what Kaneshiro considers a bank. I never thought it would be the entire district. Look around us. The distortion is affecting the whole of Shibuya. Huh? What do you mean? Oh, that's right. Even when we were in the castle and the museum, the city outside looked normal. He sees everyone in Shibuya as his patron. No surprise for a Mafia boss. It's best we focus on finding Kaneshiro's location and stealing his treasure as soon as possible. Yeah, his hideout's gotta be somewhere around here. Let's go look for it. Let's start digging, guys. Alright. Okay, let's go. I can see it. What? Hey! So this is the equivalent of being broke. So people who don't have much use are basically broken ATMs. 
but where are they coming from? Damn it. Joker. Focus. Hmm. where he never, where he leaves no tracks. Not that knowing where he is will help you. What do you mean? If he's in an area where he leaves no trace of his steps, it would make sense why the police weren't able to obtain the location of where he is. But considering we're in the metaverse and we're looking for his palace, there are no footsteps for us to trace here on the ground. So where would he be? Skyscraper would make sense, but still, he'd leave a trace. Even my grappling hook wouldn't even make it that far up. I mean, I'm not a cat at all. This may be the limit of what we can do today. We gotta find a way to get up there. Let's think about it some more tomorrow. All right, we should get out of here for now. Run for it. Hmm. Justice isn't going to be easy. No, it's not. Discuss this with everyone tomorrow. Okay. Uh, well then. Okay. Awesome. Rank up. All right. Well then. I've been thinking lately about those phantom thieves, I mean. If Dad were still alive. Sorry, I I shouldn't bring this up while we're eating. It's okay. Keep going. I just wonder if he would have been on their side. That's all. Hmm. The only reason you have time to think about that is because you depend on someone else. It's not... Hmm? You don't have to do a single thing, and you're provided with food, clothes, a home. I've had no time to think on such ridiculous thoughts. Would Dad have been happy with them? I don't care. He died upholding some lofty sense of righteousness, leaving all his responsibilities on us. All I was trying to say was... Whoa, calm down. Isn't it about time you grew up and acknowledged our situation? Right now, you're useless to me. All you do is eat away at my life. Oof. Sorry. That was uncalled for. I'm just... really tired. I'll be eating dinner out from tomorrow on. Uh. 
Ouch. Is that how you really think of your sister? I just remembered. I've been seeing a lot of shows on TV lately about these phantom thieves of hearts. I just wonder why bother, why bother stealing hearts. You can't do anything with them. They have no monetary value either. If I were them, I would go for something with a concrete, clear value, like gold. Speaking of, there's another kind of metal that's very valuable on its own. They're called minor metals, and they're used in many electric... Uh, electronics, right? Yeah. In fact, most of you probably have some of your some on your person right now, in your pockets, in your purses. Give me an answer. Hey, wait. Hey, this doesn't look good. Something that uses minor metals, and all of us have something like that on us. Right now, I've got lipstick and my my smartphone and my mascara. What do you think, Shadow? One of these has minor metals in it, right? It's your smartphone. It would be your smartphone. She says something about electronics, right? Okay, so finished. the answer must be my smartphone. A lot of minor metal metals are excavated in China. Some countries simply produce more than others. 90% of the minor metals used in Japan are imported. But a lot of the recycle, recyclable trash we throw away contains minor metals too. In other words, a junkyard is much more valuable than someone else's heart. Uh, no. I, I suck at studying. <laughs> I'm like Ryuji in this case. He ain't got nothing. Are we out of luck? It's no fair his palace is up in the sky. If only we could contact the real Kanashiro. Hmm? What do you want? Nothing in particular. I just saw you all together here. How convenient. That's so. You seem to be having quite a bit of trouble. So you're here to check up on us? You may be the student council president, but when it comes to what we do, you're useless. Useless? Right now, you're useless to me. All you do is you eat away at my life. To be frank, yes. Just stay on your high horse and watch. Or do you want to eavesdrop since you're so good at it? So you wish to get in contact with Konoshiro? That is what you were just discussing, weren't you? It seemed you just needed to find out where he is. Something like that. Hey, you don't gotta answer her honestly. So you're just the good girl type to push over. Right now, you're useless. Was that? Fine. I'll help you meet Kanashiro. What exactly is she planning on doing? I don't know, but this seems risky. She had a dead serious look in her eyes. Does this mean she has an idea as to where Kanashiro may be? I highly doubt that. I didn't like her stern face. Ugh, what is up with her? We better go too. There are way too many people here. We're never gonna find her. Hmm? Hello? It's me. Makoto Nijima. Just stay on the phone and listen. Make sure you record the call as well. Huh? Who is it? Do you guys know Kanashiro? What? That idiot! What's she doing? I heard I could find someone named Kanashiro if I came to Central Street. Central Street? 
What are you doing? She's being too rash. Of course. What are you getting at? He's blackmailing the students of Shuzhen Academy, is he not? Tell him if he doesn't want me talking to the police about it, he better agree to meet with me. What are you doing? You got a death wish or something? Letting your feelings and emotion get the better of you in this case is not gonna help the students of Shujin. You better be taking me to Kanashiro. He said get the fuck in! Hey, wasn't that... It's the guys that messed with us the other day. So they were connected to Kanashiro. Is she still on? Contact Kanashiro, son. Tell him we got a good one. Where are we going? Yeah, I guess we can't do anything to her if she's Kanashiro san's customer. Hey, I asked a question here. Where are we going? We gotta go after them. Ryuji, get a taxi. I'll. Okay, I've got their license plate. My sketching skills have come in handy. What are you doing? Holy shit! Beauty! Hurry up and get in. Dude, what's your problem? So, you're seriously the student council president of Shujin. You know what happens to anyone who snaps at you, don't you? So, whose number is this? Your boyfriend? What in the world? Who the fuck are you? Nijima-san! What the hell did you do to her? Oh, I get it. You got followed, you dumb shits! Holy moly! That bag you saw the other day, the crocodile one, how much was it? About three million. Thank those guys. What? I'm royally pissed right now. Can you tell? You know how spending money relieves stress? It's you goddamn breath sniffing around like dogs and barging in here like you own the joint. See this empty space? I'm so pissed that now there's a three million yen gap here. It pisses me off even more if I don't fill it up. I'm a perfectionist. So... Good luck. That sounds like a you problem, buddy. What is that supposed to mean? What? Come on, you all look so tense. I think I'll call it debauchery of minors at a club. So, can I send this to your school? What? That's... Oh damn, I got booze and cigs in the shot. Maybe some drugs too. Ah, this is so hilarious. I feed on dumb shits like you. Understand, pretty little student council president. Now listen up. Run your mouth to the police, and I'll break all of you, starting with your families. I want to give you the usual money, but well, you have such a large group here. Three weeks. Bring three million in by then, no less. Summer bonuses are around the corner, you know. It'll be easy if you beg your mommies and daddies. <laughs> Get out of my sight. I'm about to have some fun. What? To hell with that! Don't bother with him. Makoto's safety is more important right now. Three weeks for three million yen. Things have taken a serious turn for the worse. And yet somehow we ended up in a worse situation than the students. <laughs> For real. It was stupid. I must agree. You should have easily imagined this happening. Hey, Yusuke. I was so caught up in trying to be useful. All right, enough of the blame game. It's done is done. I'm gonna cause trouble for Sis, too. Sis? My older sister has a commendable job and 
She's a much more remarkable person than me. A lot happened after we lost our father three years ago. So it's just us living together. But I'm still a child. So all I am is a burden to her. Hmm. And that's why you were so reckless? I just wanted to be useful in some way to... You know, I might not get your whole situation, but ain't it a bit off seeing that you're useless to her? It's the truth, though. In particular, I have to apologize for what happened to you. Huh? Now that I think on it, the truth about Kamashita must have been covered up by the whole school. I had my suspicions, but I couldn't do anything about it. No, I didn't do anything. Had I cared enough? I could have done something. <sighs> People like me must really be what others call scum of the earth. Real scum wouldn't call themselves that. Huh? Mm -hmm. I'm the same. It's just like you said before. I was closest to Shiho, but I didn't do anything. Besides, Kamoshida's the one to blame. Shiho understands that, and I do too. Takamaki-san. You didn't have a place to belong either. Isn't that right? Me? Either? We won't let anyone fall victim again. Now, what should we do from here? I'll do something about the money. So can we please just drop the case with Kanashiro? No can do. We're all caught up in this. We can't have you rushing things on your own anymore and making the situation worse. If only we could do something about that bank. Ryuji. Good idea. Bank? Oh, right. The bank. She isn't useless at all. She may be our key in. Hear me out, you guys. Our key in? What do you mean? A cat? Um, are you all okay? <laughs> We've become Kanashiro's targets. That means we've become customers of Kaneshiro's bank! I see. The reason why we couldn't enter before was because we weren't considered his customers. And wouldn't you say that she in particular is a special customer? Let's take her with us. She is responsible for our current situation. Whoa, I don't follow this at all. She risked her life doing something so reckless. At the very least, she has the right to know. Won't you come with us? What? Wait, to where? Yeah, where are we going? Really, Ryuji? Beats me. Really, you two? I can get Makoto since she's still new to the whole thing. But I expected more from you two. A canine? It's hot. Be quiet. The shadows are going to notice us. A monster cat? I'm not! <laughs> <laughs> That was in his bag. This is what happens when we come here. Wait, Takamaki san? Where are we? We're inside Kanashiro's. Uh, well, the world inside his heart. What? It's another reality in which Kanashiro's distorted desires are materialized. Another reality? Guess you could say that. There it is. Reality? Oh my goodness. <sighs> I'm sorry, it's just... But since this really exists, I can't doubt it. A reality that one's heart shows. Is it like the application of optical illusions in social cognitive psychology? That's something we have no idea about. I see. So stealing one's heart, that may be like overriding their cognition. I think I kind of get the logic behind it. Ain't she more amazing than you? But we're about the same! Then does that mean there's an ATM version of myself somewhere in this world too? Perhaps. Regardless, we can change Kanashiro's heart and make him confess if we steal his treasure. If it all goes well, that is. Hmm. We'll make it go well. Everyone will notice us for sure if we take someone like Kanashiro down. Oh yeah. Our justice will also become resolute. Think we'd be able to give courage to those in need if it happens? 
For the sake of those in need, huh? You sound like my father. Your father? No, that don't mind me. You want to go to that bank, right? If I become a customer of that bank, then they'll have to let me in. All right. Here we go. Real? It came to us. It's just as I calculated. your card to get into banks during after hours I thought that I'd be able to get in since I have the same identity as such customers I'm kind of sure a source of revenue after all oh that makes sense <clears throat> wow this place is huge rarely got to go to the bank so this is making me kind of nervous being in a bank with costumes like these is so obvious we are totally robbers you got that right it seems there will be a lot of shadows from here on. Huh? What's that about? Enemies attack us here. I see. I've trained in Aikido. Don't worry. I can defend myself. Self-defense won't do much good against shadows. But then again, it's better than nothing. We have to go in from the front, don't we? I'm an honorary customer. So I better act like one. I will be useful for you guys. Hmm. Let's hope so. Come on, let's go. Shall we go? All right, moving in. What business do you have here? I had a feeling this would happen. Come at us. No, no, wait. She's one of Kaneshiro's customers. I'd like to speak with the bank president. Excuse me, but do you have an appointment? I need to talk to him. Now let me through. Let it pass. That voice. Here we go. It's Kaneshiro. Yo, banks have presidents? Yes, but not the political sorts. In theory. I guess you can think of it more of a CEO. Guess it's through these doors. How many vehicles could I eat with this? <laughs> property damage and other disturbances. That comes to three million yen in total. You're here regarding that, correct, Miss Beautiful President? It must be quite a tough gathering so much money. I'd be willing to give you a loan, you know. You gonna call it off then? No. A loan. The interest rate is 10% a day. 10% interest a day? Um, uh, that means uh, one day is... It's 300,000 yen. There's no need to be alarmed. I have a more manageable option for people like you. That was your plan from the beginning, wasn't it? Quite the impressive insight. What do you have planned? Imagine a son. <coughs> or should I say, the younger sister of the beautiful prosecutor, Sai Nijima. What? How do you know that? Please don't underestimate our intelligence network. My, what wonderful goods have come falling into my lap. Don't be ridiculous! The young women are such great assets. They lack strength. Be it social, physical, or mental. It's as if they only exist to be devoured by the strong. But just might be the rule since the dawn of history. You truly are despicable. Ugh, this is kind of gross hearing from him. You 
better be ready, Kaneshiro. We're gonna snatch your treasure from you. Don't make me laugh, you petty thief. My citadel has the highest security installed in it. Anyone will do anything for money. I'll rob you of your lives as easily as I breathe air. <laughs> Oh shit. Physical attacks doesn't look like it's gonna work. It's Mr. Kaneshiro's orders. Eliminate them at once. Persona! There we go. Persona! Go ahead, Lord! Here we go. Sheesh. What the? There's no end to them. Have they really been hired with money? We're in trouble at this rate. Let's run. Fall back for now. Let's get the hell out of here. Why did the security guards turn into monsters? And what were those supernatural powers? Could those have been the personas you mentioned? Does now really look like the time to be asking that? We need to retreat. Makoto, make sure you don't get separated from us. Hurry, Joker. The exit's just over there. Yeet! Damn it! There's no end to them! Guys! You seem to be in quite a pickle. How dare you sneak around, Kaneshiro? Those would be my words. However, I do thank you for providing me with such wonderful goods. It's time you disappear. So conceited. Managing a bank is tough as it is. So, it's my policy to kill clients who are more trouble than they're worth. Having one impertinent brat disappear is enough to set an example in that other world. Please, stop! Oh, I wouldn't damage an asset like you. They're dead men walking, but you'll be just fine. Your sister is quite a beauty, though. I'll make sure to make her my personal slave. <coughs> if bored, I'll just sell her off. Oh, poor sis. She could have been successful if only her younger sister wasn't so dumb. My sister has nothing to do with this! Then you better start taking customers tomorrow. All you gotta do is endure it, and do as you're told. <laughs> endure it. Do as I'm told. You'll learn three million yen in no time. Although your life and everything along with it will be a complete wreck by then. <laughs> I've been listening to you go on and on. Shut your damn mouth, you money grubbing asshole! Huh? Have you decided to tread the path of strife? Yes. Come to me! Very well. Let us proceed with our contract at once. <laughs> Here we go. Thou hast found. You have finally found your own justice. Please, never lose sight of it again. This memorable day marks 
your graduation from your false set. What the hell? Whoa! <laughs> yes! <laughs> Be afraid, Kanashiro. We're coming after you soon. Let's go, newbie! I don't think so. And that concludes our show. All right. They changed it. Well, we got a way out. Okay, we have a path. <clears throat> Get in. So you'll stand against me no matter what. Very well. I'll wait for you all. There's no escape in reality, nor will you break through the security system here. It doesn't matter what you do, you can kiss your bright futures goodbye. We'll see about that. <laughs> Man, talk about wild! That was no Aikido. That was some hardcore ass whooping. I am so not pissing her off. I feel like she'll rip off my arm. She does exude that aura. Oh, stop it. <laughs> this is the most exhausted I have ever gotten these past few years, but it felt pretty great. I never thought I'd become part of the Phantom Thieves I was after. This might faint if she found out. You mentioned her earlier. She's a prosecutor for the district. And she's investigating the Phantom Thieves. Wait, ain't that bad? No need to worry. 
A normal investigation would never lead them to a world like that. Nope. Then again, it must have been fate for this to happen. What do you mean? I can't be like my sister. I had a feeling that there'd come a time when we wouldn't see eye to eye anymore. I'm thankful to have a sister who works so hard, but there are times I feel sorry for her too. Ah, uh, forget the background noise. And after hearing my persona's voice, I clearly understand how I feel now. It appears you're not as reserved as you make yourself seem. I was just doing whatever the adults told me to. Won't she be perfect as our advisor? She's fearless and has a sharp mind. Sounds good to me. We've needed someone like that for a while now. I'd be honored if I can help out. We had way too much testosterone anyway, so I feel much better. It's from Kaneshiro. He's reminding us of our debt. So the Kaneshiro over here doesn't know what happened inside the palace. That's right. But his palace will be affected if the real Kaneshiro's cognition changes. We can't be lax. Seems it'd be best to avoid unnecessary contact with him until then. Three weeks left, huh? There's that security system, too. But if we pull this off, it'll definitely be great! We'll crush him like a fly. I'll make him regret making me angry. Anyways, let's begin our operation tomorrow. First, we need to secure a route to the treasure, like always. You guys are finally starting to get used to this. I'll be waiting for the call to meet up. Righty, right. Dude, you kidding? Motorcycles are way cooler than a dump than dump boats. It'll be just like that song. I'm a phantom on a steel horse I ride. <laughs> Don't say such things. And for the record, I'm most certainly not wanted. Come on, guys, keep up. Know the reference. I do. And I love that song. Dead or alive. Do you got a license? A regular one, yes. Nice! I can't wait to get my hands on one too. That aside, mind if I change the topic for a moment? What is the matter? I'm sorry everyone. I know I'm not in any position to be saying this. I truly do. However, I must apologize. It was my actions that dragged all of you into this mess. Well, yeah. But, there was some good that came out of it. At this point, it's just water under the bridge, Makoto. Well, we were at odds with each other until just a while ago. But Ryuji's totally right. We need to work together to overcome this. Indeed. And correct he is. Nice. Unfortunately, this is where today's video ends. And boy, did we actually end it on a good note today. If you kept up with me this far and you've enjoyed what you've seen, go ahead and hit that like button. And please, it would definitely mean a lot if you guys would share the video and help me get out there a little bit more. If you want to remain updated for any further games and contents that I have planned to play either solo or with friends, hit that subscribe button and the bell on the side to be notified, and I will see you guys next time in Persona 5R. Now that we have our new partner, the next step to come is to plow our way through the palace and then send calling card. Until then everyone, stay gold.